I'd like to take this story forward. We've been joined by Mr. Bharat Verma. He's a defense analyst and editor of the Indian Defense Review. Thanks so much, uh, Mr. Verma, for speaking to Headline today. My first question to you is, uh, do you know what exactly happened, how this accident took place, and what's the latest on the rescue efforts? We believe that uh, naval rescue workers have now landed on uh, INS Induratna to look for those uh, two officers who are now unaccounted for. The first and the foremost thing is these submarines are should have been scrapped many years back. The government of India instead of replacing them with newer submarines, with submarines let's say from Germany or France, we are flogging these and demoralizing our forces by these archival and ancient equipment that the services today hold. And the result is today's accident where it appears uh, that the hydrogen accumulated in the battery section in the pits of the submarine uh, did explode and <clears throat> that has caused this uh, serious and grave accident. The point here is when the Navy has told Government of India, Ministry of Defense, 15 years long term perspective planning was sent 15 years back, almost 20 years back that this is the aging process. These submarines need to be kicked out, new ones to be brought in. So, you don't do that. You keep flogging, you keep... <coughs> Absolutely. And Mr. Varun, my second question to you is... My, my, my second question to you is that the mishaps also raising several serious questions. INS Sindhu Rakshak, uh, the tragedy that happened last year, had also returned from a similar refit in Russia from uh, reportedly the similar dockyard. Now, we, we are also reporting some 11 other accidents related or mishaps relating to the Navy over the last uh, seven, eight months. What, where, where is the Indian Navy going wrong? First, where is the Ministry of Defense going wrong? It's not being able to replace equipments. That's a very major area. Second,